I like to sing because I feel like that is my calling. I like to sing because I feel like that is my calling. It's my great pleasure and privilege to introduce the Trinity House of Prayer Choir. I'm Elizabeth Lear McCarty, mother of Lucas McCarty. <clears throat> Lucas, I have a son. When we go out, people stare at him. Some look the other way, but some come right up to him to give him a hug. He came into the world not pink and rosy, but gray and dead. Before the nurses and doctors could bring him back to life, his brain was injured. It was part of the brain that controls all his muscles. Muscles that help you swallow and talk. Muscles that help you move and walk. He can't swallow, so he drools. He can't move his tongue, so he can't talk. He can't balance, so he can't walk. But I don't want you to think he can't do much, because he can. He smiles a lot. He talks with the talker. He walks on his knees. He has friends all over. Truckers who talk to him on CB radio when they're passing through. Church friends, school friends, <clears throat> camp friends, restaurant friends, and I hope you will be his friend too. <clears throat> first met him and he was, uh, uh, you know, singing at the top of his lungs, I thought, is he singing real words? And then, yes, he is. I mean, you know, he's singing every word. I think that is one um, big connection with his church, not only the total acceptance and love, but the, the music bond and the music experience. You know, that's, that's the way he worships. Uh, my name is Tara Pearson, uh, and I'm a writer. Well, the book is called Year of Our Lord, essentially because I spent a, a year with Lucas, traveling around the Delta with Lucas off and on, and going to church with Lucas. I met him by accident. Uh, I have a friend, Julie Chadwick, who's a speech-language pathologist. I knew that Julie specialized in assisted communication, but I can't say I truly knew much about, about it. I didn't know what it was, really. I'd never met any of her clients. Uh, but she told me that she made an appointment to see a former client down in the Delta and take him to church. And I've long been fascinated with the Delta. Uh, and I was certainly overdue for a visit to church, so I said, I'll go with you. Uh, and that's where I met Lucas McCarty, who was 21 years old at the time. Lucas is, is the most determined individual I have ever met. His, his disability is never going to get in his way. He's going to do what he's going to do. And I can't tell you how many times I've seen Lucas just pitch out of his wheelchair and go walking on his knees, you know, through a homeware store or down the street in Indianola, and people just shout out his name there. Everybody knows him. Black, white, doesn't matter. Lucas crosses all class lines, all strata. He knows everybody. I have been going to my church for 40 year years I have been going to my church for 14 years 
Lucas is free to do anything in that church he wants to do because it's a very loud place. People can say anything they want to. They can shout when the preacher's talking. And he was welcomed immediately into the choir of the church. Even though Lucas, of course, can't speak, he can make a lot of noise. Uh, and he's very affected by gospel music. You can, you can see it when you watch him listen to music or sing music that it just sort of takes over. It just kind of it's in tune with his spirit. Upon meeting Lucas, I did him the usual able-bodied disservice of silently wishing him normal. I couldn't yet see that he was already extraordinary. 